when do I know it's time? Like, I need to put someone here. I need to put someone there. So, Gary, walk us through that. When do you know it's the right time to hire? So, I've totally failed on this. So, I'm your prototypical entrepreneur who's, let's just hire. Hire, hire, hire. If I can't hire fast enough because I'm going to sell sell all the accounts. And the problem is you run out of money. You you can out-hire your, no matter how fast you're growing, you can always out-hire it. So, what I really recommend is to read profit first. This really helped our company. And you really want your profit to dictate your growth. Now, I will say this. This is a warning. You cannot have rapid growth and massive profits at the same time. It doesn't exist. And everybody's going to try, but it doesn't exist. Amazon's the best example of this. Amazon wasn't profitable forever. Why? Because they wanted to keep growing. They had a total big picture mission and they kept just reinvesting. Growth is expensive. Okay. So take that disclaimer, put it in the back of your head. Now I'm going to teach you the model. The model is this right now in your business, you operate as revenue minus expenses equals profit. And you just say, Hey, as long as I get more revenue, then I get more expenses. And then eh, I'm kind of left over with just some money left over. Right? That's the wrong way to look at it. What you want to do is you want to do revenue minus profit equals your expenses. Hmm. And so you want that profit to be taken out of your expenses or your revenue up front. And then that leaves you over what you're allowed to spend. And when you have enough to spend, then you go hire people. Now, when you have rapid growth and you're saying, man, we really want to invest in the growth, then you lower how much profit that you're taking off the table. Maybe it's 5% you're only taking 5% or maybe you're only taking 3%, whatever the number is. And then during times where you're growing and you don't need more support, then you start to ratchet up that profit. So you say, maybe we're taking 20% now. That varies based on what you're trying to accomplish as a company and how fast or how much you're innovating as a company. When you get to a place where you're just growing, but you're not really innovating and it's not rapid growth, it's not like, hey, we tripled, but you're just steadily growing. That means you're doing more of the same thing over and over and over again. You're not reinventing the wheel. That is where you can take more profit. Now, the other thing you can do, Derek, is, so that's the first thing. So I'd build that model out first. So you have that and you have that in the back of your head. And as the leader, you have to decide that. That's one of the hard things about being a leader is you have to decide how much profit are we going to take off the table and put away for a rainy day or how much are we going to reinvest into the company? No one can decide that for you. Then from there, what you want to do is now that you have KPIs for your team, you have they, they have output. So you know how much they can output. Then when before you go and hire the next person, you have the systems and the output number that you're going to be getting from that individual. So now you can start to make projections. <laughs>